Welcome to Hanging Out with Robert, that's me. This video is composed of things that I tinkered with throughout the day. For step-by-step -step detailed instructions of those tasks, you can click on the links in the comment section below. This video should contain tips and tricks of things that I've learned throughout the year. Now, I only plan on leaving this video posted for about 30 days. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much for watching. Good morning with this V70. Suspect we got a timing belt issue. Looks like the timing belt was done at 48,000 miles. 2006 maybe. Now it has 180 something on it. Heard a rattling sound and now it won't restart. Pull up, unplug the sensor. Set the bottle out of the way, pull the bolt out of the middle of the timing belt cover, lift the cover off, and there you have the belt. And as you can see, the belt is got a lot of slack in it. Let me like the tensioner. If you see the tensioner okay. there, oh, that's probably the finger is busted <laughs> loose, and the guts of the tensioner is down there under the water pump. The water pump's original, which is not good. The belt has a lot of slack That's in it. A lot, a lot, yeah. And here's the tensioner here. The tensioner came apart. I don't know if the bolt's loose or not, but man, the tensioner is just totally, and the belt's off the tensioner. Here's your tensioner. And all the bearings are out of the tensioner. Yeah. So. That was a rattling you heard. So when you hear the rattling? Just yesterday. So you heard the rattling, you kept driving. <laughs> well, I, ju uh, I just heard it when I... See if we could see any of these bearings down there. So how, mu how much uh, time does it take to switch one of these out? Yeah, there's some bearings down there. Yeah. All the way down there, I see okay, some bearings down, down the there. Bottom, yep. Yeah. One of the downfalls of living in the desert. If you're an asthmatic person, I don't know how well you can see this, but the lower, probably 200 feet of this city, is being bombarded with dirt blowing around. Dirt blowing everywhere in the wintertime. Dry, and it blows around. And if you have sinus issues, you struggle with this. I'll try to get a better shot of it in a little bit i don't know if this is round two or round three let's call it round three with my brother jaguar that won't start i believe with the fuel pump i followed some bad instructions on youtube on how to get the pump out replace it i tore a fuel line so i'm here to try to redeem myself and hopefully i'll be able to access this fuel line and get it installed. I took the busted line off and the filter and now I'm going to go and try to put that on. I hope I got video for the rest of it but to replace this fuel line it is the pressure line going from the tank over to the pump. I'm going to jack the car up, support the car on jack stands but I want to hang the car from a frame point and not from the suspension because I want the suspension to sag down and give me a little bit of room to get at the fuel pump access line connectors. I couldn't even see the line connectors last time I was under there. So let me go ahead, unlock the car, jack it up, get it on jack stands and see where I'm going to go from there. This is kind of remarkable. I jacked the car up, I set a jack stand under there. Before I got to lower it down, the jack is actually turning down, so really not a good idea to get under a car on any kind of jack. So I got two jack stands holding the car up. I'm going to go under there see if I can see the fuel line connectors. The other day I came under here, I couldn't even see it. I don't have the light on. Let me turn the light on. I'm looking up here from the back. and. I really don't see anything. They say you can see it from the front side. This is a 03 XJR. And uh, 
unfortunately, I still don't see where these fuel lines connect. But my bet is it's up there somewhere past this crap. I could see a little line sticking down there. I don't know if you can see it. Right over to the left of the end. I see a line sticking down. I don't know if that's one of my busted lines or one of my good lines. Anyway, let me uh, pull this cable loose, supposed to be a 13 millimeter, get it out of the way so that I can reach my arm and hand up there because I can't see anything. I'm on the passenger side, and from the passenger side, I think I can see them. There's a line there, maybe the broken one. The other line there may be the other one. So I think this is the line I broke. So I need to put the release tool up there somehow, release that broken line, get it out of the way. After I get it out of the way, I'll be able to install the new line that I have not broken. So right there in the middle is the tip of the pressure line that I broke. Here are the fuel line disconnect tools I got from O'Reilly's. This is the fuel filter that I got from my local dealer. Nice hefty price. I think get the same OEM style filter from another company for seven bucks. That's the filter, fuel filter I have. And this is the fuel line that I busted. Now I ordered the fuel filter from online and the fuel pump sock came in instead of this fuel pump filter. So anyway, let me go ahead, get this stuff out of the package, get the right tools in my hands to install this stuff and get cracking. So I have this cable loose, parking brake cable deal, 13 millimeter, you might want to spray some something on there and you can see the fuel line connectors there let me see if I can zoom in on it. this is from the passenger side of the drive shaft let's see if it comes in focus all right there it is so I'm gonna put the tool up there push in on the one on the driver's side which is the one I broke uh, try to push it in a little bit to get that fuel line loose but as you can see I broke this pressure line fuel smooth off trying to maneuver the tank out without taking these fuel lines loose I got my broken fuel line out I'll tell you that was very difficult as you can see I had the tool pushed all the way on but the line wouldn't come out so I had to take these long hook nose needle nose pliers grab the end of that line and maneuver it out. So the line's out. Let me try to go in with the replacement. I was about to give up. Fuel lines plugged in. They are not pulling out. This return line is a little mucked up. I hope it's okay. It doesn't leak. I still got the cable undone. I got the filter in with the arrow pointing toward the driver's side. Should be good. I'm gonna go ahead and try to start the car before I lower it, make sure I don't have any fuel leaks. And then I hope to be done. Let's go try to fire her up. Primed the fuel pump a couple times by turning the key, turning it back, turning the key, turning it back, turning the key. I fired up the first time. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut this off because I don't want this exhaust getting too hot for me to put this parking brake cable back in. I'm also make sure I don't have any fuel leaks, which it looks real dry right now. Should be good to go. Fuel filters in, not leaking. I'm gonna go ahead and put the screw in the bracket. I got the lines 
in the clips right there and right here I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here if you feel that this information was useful please like it and share it with your social media friends you can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post you can follow me on Twitter and if you need to contact me directly please visit my website and if you have any questions leave them below and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.